The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl, read by Evans. In light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. Wow, look at this pretty moon. Do Have you guys ever seen the moon at night? One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop out of the egg a tiny and very hungry caliper. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. And on Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, and a slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. Right now, how do you think the caterpillar is feeling? Is he feeling upset in the tummy? Or is he feeling just fine? Do you think he's still hungry? The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. Has anybody had a tummy ache like this caterpillar? This caterpillar ended up having a bad tummy ache. Have you had one? What is your favorite food to eat? This caterpillar had many. What's yours? Do you want to grow up like this caterpillar and become a beautiful butterfly? The end. I hope y'all enjoyed Evans reading The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric.